Population growth is expected to reach 7,400 residents by the end of the video. Specialized care for the aging meat sex has been established, giving some rest to those without use. With growth comes improvement to the road network, upgrades to two lanes of grass, and the roundabout becomes a highway. As power concerns rise, so do the windmills in trying to stem the concerns of powering our homes. As the population grows, so do demands for education. Where elementary schools are popping up as well as Devil Town High. Go Devils! But up next, is there aliens buried in New Mexico? Truth found on a cartridge. Hey folks, Lady Black Mage here. After that little newscast, so hopefully all of you are having a good one today. And... Okay, so we got some progress we need to do. RCI is telling us we need some residential. I've actually got a list of things that need to be done, but first thing I want to do is this roundabout. I've had the tools to fix this, and I forgot to fix it. So, we're going to upgrade, we're going to let things go. Space already occupied. Um, there we go, all fixed up. So, proper roundabout. Our tower in the middle, which we're going to probably have to do something with, you know, put some decorations or something. Um, so let's take a look. Because RCI is saying we need residential, so let's take a quick look. Um, don't really have a spot to put residential. I could put some over here. Um, let's see. Oh, nope, not in upgrade mode. So I can probably put some along here. I'll get us a little bit of uh, residential. Because the big thing is, we're trying to make it to a busy town. You know, get the last specialization unlocked, get a bunch of stuff going. And that'll probably be when I start upgrading a lot of... Uh, a lot of the roads. Because we should have the money by that point. We also need to get... Uh, education fixed, some libraries, pathways, we got a lot of stuff. So, I can actually do some of the pathways with you here, and then I can just go off camera, but what exactly is the pathway? So, the pathway, um, let me upgrade a road. I know there's, let's see, what's a road that's fine to be upgraded? I think this is a road that's fine to be upgraded. Let me just double check. Yep. This is fine to be upgraded. So we can make this... Eventually I want to have grass or... Uh, essentially we're going to be using like two lane row of grass or something. Uh, but I can upgrade this for now. And you know what? I'll just go through the whole way. Alright, so the path thing. Uh, probably want to get that side and that side. Alright, so... Yeah, because now I'm starting to question, can I actually get a path in here? So... But... So, I prefer the pavement path. Oh, yes we can. Nope, no we can't. No we can't. So we can put it here, which allows for some pedestrian crossings, so good thing... Uh, so, let's turn off all of the guidelines. Try to aim for the middle. And there we go. Basic pathing. 
encourages pedestrian walking, allows some room for some decorations, and doesn't affect the uh, growth of the uh, of the residents. So that's something we got to do. Uh, let's see. I think one of the big things I'm going to do is just lay out the residential and then go from there because we got to get the citizens and the money to do anything and we don't really have the funds to do anything. So let me get things going. I'll probably come back with a little sped up footage of the city coming in and then we will continue on. So we let that go for a pretty while, pretty long while, and I'll still keep this going, but so we had some industry change around it looks like. Some places formed and unformed. Residential is popping up, but not as much as the RCI was making me think it would. And commercial hasn't really done much either. But we do have some needs that we need to take care of, so Yes, I know about road tolls. Um, so we need 30000 for a high school, which we're about to... Yeah, that's a little bigger than I'd like. Um, I'm going to pause for a second. Since nothing... I'm going to put it in the industrial area. And let's see if we got any parks available. Um, let's see, I think... Plaza, Plaza... Tennis court, basketball court. Oh, that requires a little bit of money, so we'll, we'll let this go, but... Uh, apparently a lot of people like that. Uh, come on, come on. Give me the money. Give me the money. There we go. Well, that definitely helped with a lot of people's entertainment in the area. Plus, it's probably going to help with land values. So, we've gotten the roundabout taken care of. We've gotten a lot of residential in. We'll probably have to get more going soon enough. Uh... Well, let's do a quick whack-a-mole. Power. Ooh, power's not good. Not good. Uh, water. Water and sewage is fine. Garbage? Oh, 41%. We'll probably need another landfill soon enough. Like, I'm going to start prepping for that space right now. Uh, so let's see. Medical. Healthcare is pretty good. Uh, elder care. Oh no, that's child care. Child care, pretty good. Elder care, non existent. Death care, only six dead. Hmm. Alright, fire department. 52%! Oh, that ain't good. That is... Um, crime rate, 8%. It's still low, but... Oh, jail capacity is actually pretty high. Alright, you know what? I'm not a big fan of this. But... Let's take the loans. And let's get things dealt with. So... We've got the high school. How's elementary looking? Elementary's not good. Not good. Um, that would demolish a place. 
we can fit an elementary school right there. So if capacity is 300, each one should be able to, let's see. Yeah, so that should be good. Uh, high school can handle 1,000. We're good. Uh, we'll deal with the library in a moment. Uh, police station. Uh, could it fit over here? It could. Let me just check the fire quickly before I settle on one. Firehouse. Space R8 can't fit. Could fit. Um... Well, since this is an industrial area, I'm going to put a firehouse there. Police station can go right here. All right, so medical, uh, elder care, because we do not have any. Um... Let's look about putting it about here. Ooh, space already occupied, so. Wait a minute. So, where was it willing to fit before? Or was that just a fever dream I was having? Probably a fever dream. Well, we could put it here. And by could, I mean we are. Uh, landfill. Uh, just going to get this ready. Uh, oh, flip me. We don't have power. We're not going to have power for all these new facilities. Ah, oh, crap, 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 crap. Um, um... Um, you know, that might save our butt. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, crap. Our money's going down. Our money's going down. Oh, back up, back up. We can't see squat. We're going back up. Woo! Okay, I think we just pulled ourselves from the edge, so. Um, I'm again gonna have. Three hundred All right, so prepping another uh spot for uh whatchamacallit. Power. Power. Cause I do not want to stay at one fifty power budget for too long. And our population's actually going up. 4,800. Wow, we're, we're making some good strides. I uh, want to keep an eye on things, because as soon as we got the money, I want to get the power going again. Oh, holy crap, that's a residential demand if I've ever seen one. How's the power looking? Uh, we are teetering. Yeah, as much as I want to put in more people right now, we need the power first. Uh... 
Uh, so, come on. Give us the power. 23,750. I think what... I mean, this ain't gonna take long to get. Yeah, we're almost actually already there. But holy crap. <laughs> Can't believe I spent all that money and then forgot about power. It's like... The basics of life, man. You need power. Okay. So, put that towards the back. Alright, we got more power. So, let's pull up the budget. Bring this back down to... A hundred percent. I wish there's a reset button for, you know, power and all that. You know, just one simple click. It's all set back to a hundred percent. Someone's sick. Why are you sick? Are you in a pollution area? No, no, you're not. Well, mildly, maybe, but could just be regular sickness. How's the health looking? Okay, we got that, got that. Yet yeah, we're fine. Alright, so what we need to do is we need to start pushing on getting some residential going. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut here, let uh, let us grow some money, then put in plots of land, and I'll probably come back with another speed, sped up footage of uh, more residentials growing in. So, back in a tick. talking about trying to get to busy town and you know then it happened so i was going to take a look see how much time we had but uh guess uh with that footage lost <laughs> i guess we have some time so we finally reached busy town got the policies that we want roads hospitals oil power plant i believe that's better than coal so uh Silent Hill, I hate to be very bad news, but we might be uh, drilling in Texas soon. Um, and the money that we did get from, you know, becoming a busy town, I used it to pay off the uh, last loan right away. So we no longer are in debt. Uh, so let's take a look at our policies. Uh, let's see. Not really any policies I want here. Or here. Dang it. Guess we're not putting in anything new. We are, however, going to put in another neighborhood. Uh. Wait. Nope. Wrong way. Wrong way. Uh. All right, and I think we're going to make this its own neighborhood as well. Just mainly because of how weirdly shape it is. It's not going to fit the general four tile by four tile situation. Division Street needs to increase in size. All 
Alright, so what we got? Hamilton Square. So let's see. Let's go with Iron Square. And Primrose Hill. So let's go with Emerald Hills. Emerald Hills. And we still have Garnet Fields, Garnet Industries, Division Street. Alright, I think we're in a good spot. So, let me check on something and then uh, we'll see where we stand for the episode. Alright, so I've got a little more zoning done in. Uh, built in on here. Oh, I forgot to zone this. Uh... Yeah, that should be all fine. So I'm just going to paint this. Uh, no, not industrial. Residential. Residential. And get that a residential spot. So I'm going to push this. I'm um, uh, getting this formed. And let's see what else. Uh, we're not nearly... Well, we could actually do some residential over here. Uh, up to this line because this still has to be commercial uh, and I'm not sure I know it probably isn't good for business but it's poss possibly also not good for people to live in next to a cemetery but you know that's just me well, actually, for me, I wouldn't mind. I'd be like, oh, hey, the neighbors are quiet today. <laughs> uh, anywho, uh, so we got a lot of that forming. So I think what we need to do is just let things go, get some money, and go from there. What What's our next, uh, what's after Busy Town? Big Town. Ooh, don't know if we'll reach that this episode or not. So... I'll be back after a bit. All right, folks, so I want to bring you back in. Uh, a lot has happened. Uh, so first off, you know, uh, grew in this part of the city. Uh, so the whole entire industrial farms are surrounded. We've got this brought in. Uh, we've done a small expansion to over here. Uh, this has been filling in. We've had to add in an additional uh, fire department. Uh, actually, two of them, now that I think about it. Uh, we actually ha had to use some windmills. Uh, we had a power issue, and I didn't have the money for the bigger power plant, and we needed a fix now. So, had to bring in some windmills. So, but the main reason why I'm bringing you guys back in is... We're a hundred population away from our next uh, milestone. And I'm hoping to hit it pretty dang soon. We've gotten a bad in building, but you know what? There we go. I know the game will take care of it on its own after a while, but part of me also wanted to get just, just, just get rid of it. Oh, now that we're getting close, you're slowing down your rate. Hey! So we have the Metro unlocked. Taxation policies. Additional new policies. And a bunch of new... Incinerator! That I was waiting for. All right, so can we afford the incinerator? Yes, we can. So let me just check a few stats about this thing. So hold on. Um, oh, it actually outputs power.
All right, so that might take away our windmills, but for the time being, I'll keep them because, you know, they were helping. Yeah, electricity, that that is definitely going to help. Uh, water. Uh, both our sewage and our water are... Come on, find me a spot that doesn't... I don't want to destroy the rocks. Alright, that'll do. Alright, and we need another water tower. That's as close as I can get the water tower. And let's do two. Alright. So we should be making more energy. Sewage should be taken care of. Yep, there we go. Alright, so time for the whack-a-mole. Power. Now uh, we're straddling the line. That should... Yeah, we're back in the green with that now. Uh, water and sewage is good. Garbage. Landfills. Oh, we got one landfill that's full. Um, it's going to have to hold the garbage for the time being because I think you need, like, a plant, an incinerator plant to deal with a full landfill. So... Uh, we're going to have to just wait till we can afford another landfill. Uh, healthcare. Let's see. Elder care. 75 at 73 years. So probably could use another one. Child care. 47 births a week. Probably could use another one. Death care. Well, not that bad. And I know for death care, uh, as much as I want to go straight to crematoriums, uh, there is a thing for uh, having three instances and seven instances of a filled cemetery. So we got to keep the... So what we're probably going to do is uh, keep the cemeteries around until we unlock that stuff. But when a cemetery gets full, put a uh, uh, crematorium next to it. And regular healthcare is fine. Alright, fire... Hazard is at 29%. That's acceptable. Crime is 6% with jail capacity at 40. 25 detained. Yeah, that, that works. That works. Education. Let's start with elementary. Uh, we're going to need another elementary school soon. High school. Same. Oh, we need a hot... We're, we're not uh, helping everyone with it. University, we can actually start doing. And public library, we haven't even touched. But we do need to do the public library because we need to have 300 users of the public library at any given time. But we're making progress. I'm actually happy with that. So, let's see. Um... I can make this a new neighborhood. So you go here, so just about here. Uh, Garnet Fields, make sure you're about that. Um, two, three, four. Yeah, let's just have it go to the edge. Uh, another four. Just go to the edge. Uh, 
this is probably... Alright. So we got all those. Alright, got all that. Um, I guess we'll make this its own neighborhood since... No, you know what? Let's make this part of the Emerald Hills. And I know we have this over here. This over here, and this over here. Oh, I've also improved the roadways. Uh, they're all upgraded now. So, yeah, we're in a really good spot. So, I need to rename some of these places, which I can easily do off camera. Uh, we're eventually going to have to start renaming the roads, because once we get too many roads, then that becomes an issue on, well, how do we deal with it? Um, honestly, we also need to think about what's our expansion going to look like. As much as I want to expand uh, s what is southwards towards the beach, um, I think we need to take a plot of land north and get access to the highway. That way we can have better industrial access. Like, actually, let me take a look. Uh, can I buy a plot of land right now? Yes, I can. And... Can I buy, I mean, let's see, seven grand for that one. I'm actually going to purchase that. And ten grand for that one. All right. So we now have train access. So we've got a whole new area for industrial. Um, but I may not push on that until we have the industrial DLC active. Because we got a forestry section here. we Well, forestry can go anywhere. We've got a farm section here. In fact, uh, let's take a quick look. What else do we have? Um, so let's see. So yeah, forestry. Ooh, oil also is here too. Uh, we got some... We also got forestry here. Some ore... Could do the farming up here. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of things to work with. And the thing is, with the ore and oil industries, we could easily work on just pure import for those. If we wanted to. So... Yeah, I guess we're... Uh, I guess we're in uh, a good spot. So we're going to call it here for today. We've gotten about 7,400, I'd say roughly. Uh, this has been Slay the Black Mage. Hopefully you like this kind of content. If you'd like to see more, hit the fall, not the fall button, the subscribe button down below. Uh, that way the videos can end up in your subscription feed. If you like this video or this series in particular, consider hitting the like button. It helps out with the algorithm. Um, also, if you want to say anything, you know, just uh, even a simple hello. Uh, that also helps out, so leave a comment down below. And uh, if you want to be notified of when videos like this go live, uh, consider hitting the bell icon. That way YouTube can send out a notification going, Hey, Slade's put out a video, and you could go, Yeah! <laughs> this has been Slade the Black Mage, and I'll see you all around the bend. Have a good one, folks.